This is a really important document that we hope will change the lives of tens of millions of Social Security beneficiaries in a really good way. And yes, that does include Social Security Retirement, Disability, SSDI, Survivors, and SSI beneficiaries. Let's get into it and discuss what this document is and why I'm saying it's so incredibly important. Let's get right into this. But quickly before we do, thank you so much for watching. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video as I'm here for you every single day with all of the latest updates and as your one and only daily advocate doing everything we possibly can to make sure that our voices are being heard in Congress right now as it is such a tough time for low income and fixed income beneficiaries. So again, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe down below and let's get right into this. All right, so a few weeks ago, Congressman John Larson introduced the newly revised and expanded Social Security 2100. In fact, I brought you a couple videos talking about it as John Larson was actually unveiling the newly revised bill. This is amazing because the original Social Security 2100 Act was actually unveiled back in 2019. But now, here just a couple weeks ago, he unveiled the newly revised and expanded, yeah, expanded even, Social Security 2100. And what's really cool about this, he just unveiled this a few weeks ago and it already has nearly 200 co-sponsors on this bill. And there's a, there's about 100 advocacy groups and uh, different groups out there right now that are actually endorsing what he's doing. It's a lot of people that are backing this up and ultimately we are backing this up right here as well. We as in I am for sure and I'm guessing that a lot of you right here in this community are doing the exact same thing. Now in this uh, bill from John Larson, it has 17 provisions within it to expand and enhance Social Security benefits for literally tens of millions of beneficiaries. This is so incredibly important. In fact, according to some experts right now, it sounds like Congress would likely be working on this relatively soon. It's amazing, seriously. A lot of things are coming together on this and it's absolutely very encouraging and very, very exciting. So with that being said, I have drafted a letter I'm gonna be sending it over to Congress, calling on them to start working on the new Social Security 2100 immediately, and here's why. It is such a tough time right now with everything going on and low income and fixed income beneficiaries really, really being hurt with everything going on right now. It is the time, this is the time to act. This is the time to expand these benefits and ultimately raise benefits for literally millions upon millions of people. So. If you've been watching the channel for a while now, I've actually drafted a few different letters that I've sent over to Congress, calling on to them to issue stimulus checks, things like that. But now that we have this from John Larson, it is time to send this one over now. And this is specifically calling on them to uh, start working on the Social Security 2100 as they have momentum. They have momentum behind this. Let's get on it and let's do it right away. So with that being said, I'm going to bring my wife in right now, Corey. She's only going to take about a minute, maybe a minute and a half, read through this it goes quick and she will read this to you and then I will catch you on the other side and we will go through the details of this and the key takeaways it's a pretty good letter all right with that being said Corey take it away and I will catch all of you again in just a minute on behalf of our community consisting of nearly 315,000 older adults and people with disabilities receiving Social Security SSDI SSI and VA benefits we're reaching out with an urgent request in late October, Congressman John Larson introduced the revised and expanded Social Security 2100, which has 17 provisions to enhance and strengthen the program that sends vital monthly payments to 70 million beneficiaries. At the same time, there are 18 Democratic senators working on the SSI Restoration Act, which will also strengthen and expand the SSI program for 8 million beneficiaries who rely on these incredibly important monthly payments. As the president has said, no older adult or people with disabilities should ever need to live in poverty in America. Sadly, millions of the beneficiaries who receive benefits from the programs earlier mentioned are currently living in poverty. We are reaching out to strongly urge Congress to take up this legislation immediately to boost benefits to a minimum of 100% of the federal poverty line and give these millions of Americans an equitable standard of living. We will be awaiting swift action on these two bills from Congress. Thank you. 
All right, so there it is. As you can see, it's a short and sweet letter. I laid it all out right there, easy to understand exactly what Congress needs to do. Basically, I just laid it all on the table. Hey, Congress, check it out. Just a short time ago, Congressman John Larson introduced the Social Security 2100, and this is a bill to enhance and expand Social Security for literally tens of millions of beneficiaries. Super easy, right? They should already know all this stuff. Well, basically what I went on to say was that seniors and people with disabilities receiving these monthly benefits are still living in poverty, even after the president has made it very clear he doesn't think anybody that is an older adult or people with disabilities should ever need to live in poverty in America. Well, I'm sorry, but that is still happening for millions of people right now, and we need to do something about it. It's a sad situation. Nobody should have to live that way, especially right now with everything going on right now. I mean, literally, nobody should have to live that way. And here is the recipe, literally. Here is the framework to, for how we can actually get that done and lift everybody up to an equitable standard of living. So as I mentioned right there in the letter, basically, let's lift everybody up to at least 100% of the federal poverty line at an absolute minimum, but as we know from the Social Security 2100 from uh, Congressman John Larson, he said right in there, uh, raise everybody up to the minimum guaranteed benefit, which is 125% of the federal poverty line. Even better, right? But here's the thing. It would not be that hard for Congress to do this if they just so wanted to do it. Of course, it would take some time. All of this stuff takes time, especially when it comes to reforming and expanding such a massive program like Social Security. This program sends out benefits to about 70 million beneficiaries every single month. That's a lot of people, right? So of course, this is a huge, huge program. But here's the thing, Congress can absolutely do it. They have the ability, they have the authority to reform Social Security and ultimately get all of this done. So all they need to do is really just put their heads down for once <laughs> and actually start working on it, right? So that's basically what we're urging them and calling on them to do. Now, in previous uh, letters that I've sent out to Congress, of course, I've been a little bit more straightforward and a little bit more pushy, but I thought, you know what? For this first letter, I'm just gonna be a little bit short and sweet with them and just be like, hey, a quick little reminder, your Congressman, John Larson, sent out the newly revised and expanded Social Security 2100. Why don't we take a little look at it? Why don't we allocate I don't know, a couple weeks of our time here in Congress and maybe start working on this, maybe start reforming all of these benefits so that we can do exactly what the president has said, raise benefits so that no older adults or people with disabilities need to be living in poverty in America. I don't know, we're pretty much working through the president's agendas, right? The infrastructure package, the stimulus package, that's the president's agenda. What about his other agenda by saying um, no older adults or people with disabilities should live in poverty in America? Sounds like an agenda to me, right? Therefore, let's raise benefits for all of these millions of people who are still below the poverty line. Here's the thing. Right now, as we stand right now, the poverty line on a monthly basis is about $1,073 every single month. Well, I know there's a lot of people in this community right now that earn under $1,073 every single month from the benefits. Therefore, that is technically below the poverty line. In other words, in poverty. Well, that goes exactly straight against what the president has said and what he believes. Therefore, I feel like we got to do what the president wants, right? <laughs> so yeah, we have to do this. But anyway, I wanted to send out a quick reminder to Congress, let them know what's going on with this and be like, hey, Let's just get this done. So I know it's a short and sweet letter and um, I'm pretty much just gonna send it like this. Just get it out of here, throw it in there, give them a, a quick little reminder. Again, I'll probably send this to about 15 or 20 of the high profile people in Congress. That's typically who I'd like to focus on simply because these are the people, these are the movers, they're the, they're the shakers, they're the people who actually get some action done and they're kind of the people who kind of stir the pot a little bit, you know what I mean? Like the Bernie Sanders of the world, the Chuck Schumers, the Nancy Pelosi's, uh, the Pramila Jayapals, like these kind of people. The people that you always hear about. These are the ones that I want to focus on because realistically, they're kind of like the leaders of their little sections, right? So like Pramila Jayapal is the leader of the Progressive Caucus, um, Chuck Schumer, the leader of the Senate, um, yeah, the leader of the Senate, Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker of the House, you know what I mean? So we want to focus on the people who have the influence over all of the other people within their caucus, right? Make sense? So that's why I like to focus on kind of the higher profile people that we hear about all the time. So anyway, I'm going to get this out there. Of course, 
who knows if we'll ever hear anything. I mean, realistically, probably not, but you never know. Here's the thing. You got to try. You got to try all these different avenues because you never know which one will finally get through to somebody. That's why I always urge everybody, feel free to pick up the phone, call your representatives, call your senators, uh, send an email, do whatever you see fit. But the more people that we have reaching out, calling on a, um, a stimulus check and or raises to benefits through the Social Security 2100 and or any other means, it all helps. Seriously, it all helps. Every single, every single communication will help eventually. So I hope that helps you out. Again, I'm here to help you out in any way that I possibly can. I'm here to keep you updated with everything going on and to be your one and only daily advocate. Remember, I'm here on your team. I'm working on your behalf, doing anything I possibly can to help you through this. And just remember, I'm right here with you right? So I'm kind of right here by your side. We are all in the trenches together. We've got to stick together through this. It's like us against Congress. Who's going to win? Well, let's hope it's us, right? <laughs> so anyway, I hope that gives you um, a little glimpse of what I'm doing here. Again, leave me your suggestions down below. If there's any amendments you want me to see to, uh, made to this letter, if you want me to change anything, uh, if you think it's good how it is, if you think it's terrible, if you don't like it, let me know. <laughs> That's fine too. I'm totally fine with uh, constructive criticism. That's totally fine with me. Just let me know. I'm here working for you. So I don't have all the answers. That's I don't have the answers at all. That's what I'm saying. Um, I want to work with you to better brainstorm on this to figure out what can we do better to get reach uh, to reach out to them and do our best job here to um, be efficient with our requests. So hope that makes sense. Thank you again for watching this. I really do appreciate it. Subscribe down below. Share this video with your friends, family, social media. Let's get some attention on this. Let's get some more people behind this movement. And thank you again for your support. The more people that we have here in this community as far as subscribers and views on videos and all that kind of stuff, the more influence and impact that we have going forward, right? The more people, the more power that we have. So hope that makes sense. Again, enjoy your day. Thank you so much for being here. I'll catch you again later in the next video. I'll see you for now. See ya.